My name is Will. Welcome to International Cinema. Today, director Wu Tianming invites us on a journey to 1930s China in the film Bian Lian, The King of Masks. Set against the backdrop of China in the 1930s, The King of Masks tells the story of Bian Lian Wang, an aging street performer. Wang is a well-known and esteemed member of a social class of street performers. A quick-witted and skilled performer, he is most famous for his seemingly magical manipulation of colorful decorative masks. Having lost his family years ago, Wang finds himself with no male heir in which to pass his legacy, his art, and his name onto. China in the 1930s is an impoverished nation with a patriarchal society and a distinct class system. Sons are held in high esteem and daughters have little value. In a destitute part of the city, Wang seeks to purchase and adopt a young orphan in hopes of raising the child to be his heir and apprentice. Within the constraints of social norm and tradition, we follow their travels through missteps and tragic events, which in the end leads them to self-discovery, change, and the realization that love and family can overcome all. The King of Masks is a beautiful film filled with emotion and dramatic tension. In an age of Marvel movies and massive special effects, The King of Masks brings with it a cinematic simplicity. Dark and light are interwoven through each scene, highlighting both joy and happiness, as well as hardship and heartbreak. Through masterful visual storytelling, the audience is immediately emotionally invested in the journey of Wang and his young ward. The talented performance by Zhu Xu as Bian Lian Wang brings a sad and lonely character to life. Wang makes the audience sympathize and hope for his character throughout his journey. Zhou Renying plays the child Guo Hua. Unwanted and cast away, Guo Hua changes Wang's heart and the way he traditionally sees the world. Their journey puts their bond through some of the severest of tests, showcasing the unbreakable spirit of love and family. The King of Masks, released in 1996. While not the flashiest modern blockbuster, it's still worth seeing. And not just by fans of foreign films or Chinese cinema, but movie lovers of all types would enjoy this gem.